Okay, this is going to be part four of the indexable uh, carriage lock. I'm going to make a ball knob out of brass for this piece. And I'm going to use the tool that I made a year or so ago. It's a concave convex ball turner or turner. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to uh, set the camera up and show you the device I built. And then we'll get it set up for the operate okay I'm going to show you this tool the best I can here with moving the camera around on a stick this is the side view and part of the bottom of this tool that'll do the uh, turning of the ball and it does a like I said before a concave and convex uh, turn I'll slowly turn this thing around so you can see it This down here is the tool that slides in and out to give you your concave and convex turning. And then the, the shaft and the indexable end here is the, for the ball end up here, the lever. And that's the first project I made with this was this ball right here. And I'm going to do another one in brass, a smaller one, for that indexable carriage lock. Everything on this thing is uh, cap screwed together. There's no welds whatsoever on it. This tool down here is uh, keyed parallel. The cutter is parallel and it's keyed to this bottom plate that slides in and out. And then on the bottom, turn this up here a little bit. I have a, uh, so I can tighten the uh, Underneath there, there's a cap screw, and I can tighten that down tight uh, against this ball thrust bearing, so I can get it good and tight and hold it stable to be able to turn it without it wobbling around. Give that a little bit of oil once in a while. As you can see, everything is all cap screwed together. This was started out as a piece of 3 8 uh, I believe it was 1018. Give you another view of the other side. As you can see here, that's the cutter. It's a v, VNMG, I think that one is. I'd have to look it up, but there's a spacer in between there to keep uh, the dirt and crud from getting down uh, into the system. It's a piece of uh, Delron. Then the handle is caps, or yeah, uh, the handle is uh, button head screwed to the device that uh, the handle turns back and forth to do your turning. And everything like I said is all cap screwed together. This works good. I've made a couple hand uh, knobs with it. And like I said, I'll give you another closer look at this. That's the first one I made with this tool. So I'll get everything set up and we'll do that ball, brass ball, for the indexable carriage lever. Okay, I'm going to start here uh, for the piece of brass I'm going to use for the ball for the uh, ha handle end. And uh, I've got to face this off and uh, drill it and tap it for 3 8 16 and then turn the diameter down a little way. So we'll start with facing it off and then do the drilling and tapping next. I'm going to turn the power on. Yeah, I don't have any phase converter stuff here. I've got straight 480 I put in years ago for this shop so I didn't have to mess around with phase converters. <laughs>
Okay, I'll put my 5 16 drill bit in here next. And I only want to go, the ball is going to be about a one inch OD. So I want to go in about maybe three quarters uh, tapped into there. Uh, be plenty and then so I'll have a little bit left over for after the drilling. <clears throat> we'll get moved up here. Let's see if I can. Make sure you're still in view here. I'll have to move that up. That's the start. Move my camera down a little bit. Oops. There, now you can see that better. All right, we're gonna, I'm just right there at the edge there. So I wanna go total uh, about whew, five eighths. So I'm at five eighths now, inch and a quarter. I'm going to check that and then make sure that we'll go from there on it. Oh, that should be plenty. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull you back a minute and get my tap set in there. get my air hose over here so I can clean that out. got the tap in here I'm gonna just get this started and then uh, we'll uh, do the rest by hand I'll slow my speed down here a little bit. Try that and just get her started and then I'll do with a tap handle. All right, she started spinning, so we'll have to finish that up now by hand. pull you back in and get another view all right get you back up here so you can see something all right we're going to tap the rest of that with my handle
I'm gonna get a little oil in there. This is a pretty bronze, it's a little tougher. Wants to uh, ball up on the cut on the uh, tap. That's the bottom. Good enough. Okay, I'm going to blow this out again. Now I'm going to recess this about an eighth of an inch with an end mill so my uh, arm for the uh, indexable uh, carriage lock will go inside the brass just a little bit before it uh, hits the shank. Got a 3 8 end mill in here. Now we'll get you down here. Let me get up here. A little closer. I'm going to set this at half inch, bring it up to touch. And then I will go in an eighth from there down here. That looks pretty good. Change the speed again. Back up to 650. Okay. Let's see, we'll clean that out. I think I'll chamfer that a little bit. I gotta do the OD diameter. I'm gonna get uh, all set up here and I'll bring you back. All right, we're gonna do our light chamfer here and then check the thread and make sure everything's okay on that. <laughs> I should set this camera up someplace else. I'm having to move it all the time back and forth. So we'll just stop there for a second and clean this hole. Let's check this thread and see how it fits. I can check it actually with my uh, handle on the other end. see something. Uh, this is the handle and this end here will be the one that will uh, get this out of here. There we go. Okay. We'll clean them up a little bit and I had to turn it to uh, diameter and uh, length and cut it off. Uh, let me see. Move up a little bit. Make sure I get you in the picture. Okay, this is uh, roughly an uh, inch and an eighth OD on this. I'm going to probably turn it down maybe around a one inch ball. So I need to come in about an inch and an eighth or so before I uh, cut it off and turn it down to 
one inch also. Okay, I'm set zero here on my DRO on the Y. Go in. There's one inch. A little bit more. There's an inch and eighth. That should do it. It will set a zero. Or my stop up will set here. There we go. Back a little bit. All right. Let's do a touch off here and see how much we got to take off to get it to about I mean, just a little bit over an inch, maybe. I'm going to get my, uh, well, I can get it closer with the uh, calipers here. Now, I got these calipers from Shars, the, the display tips. So, we'll see what it does if you see this here. I can tip it up a little bit even. Okay, I'm at 102 over. So we'll do some cuts here and set it at 102 on my digital on the X. We'll start turning that down, try to get down to one inch. check now and see where we're at on diameter. Should be really close now. Yeah, 
thousands, but my DRO says about nine thousands. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see. One oh seven, about seven thousand. So we're just take five off maybe and leave her go at that. I don't know what have my DRO here. There's five. Let's see what happens. I'll speed her up a little bit even. Try to have a good string going. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Ninety-nine oh five missed it. This DRO is just don't get you that accurate. I'm off of thousands and a half a thousand, say. Wait a minute. That'll still work. I just wanted it a little closer to that. So I need to do is take about a little over an inch and uh, part that off. About eight pounds or something. It's off a little bit. Typical DRO. Okay. Get ready to part it off here. Tool. That's what I mean to finish up something. Here's my party tool. Okay, we'll get up here. Move this out of the way. Do a face check on it and go about inch and eighth. Maybe not quite that much. Okay, there's my zero. Y zero. Okay, that's one inch right there. Supposedly, <laughs> if everything's reading right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take my eight eighth of an inch off here, too. We got to go a little bit more. It's going to be right up against there. Okay. See if you're still in line. Okay, there you go. I'm actually going to take just a little bit more here and part it off right there. I'm going to get my brass piece that fits in the chuck, uh, drill truck, and hold that from flipping on out of there all over and messing it up. There we go. Drop it down just a little bit. Down to 937. Oh, not quite a year. There we go. I'm gonna double check that now. Better make sure. Like the old carpenter saying, measure twice and cut once. See what that's. I gotta get that down with one for a while.
double check it here. All right, looks good. And just a fraction over one. So we'll cut her off. And there it is. Now we'll get uh, this all set up in the uh, lathe with the uh, ball turning device. And it's going to take me a little while to set it up and then we'll turn a ball out of it. All right, we're going to try this now and check this, uh, if I can get down small enough with this ball turner on this. Uh, I've already done a little modification on the tool holder. We'll see what happens here. I'll start it up and start turning some of it down. Well, so far so good. I want to clean this stuff off right here so it don't fling or fling around all over the place. Yeah, I'm getting some flex in, in the ball itself because it's sticking way out there. You need the room for clearance when you use this thing. It takes a while with this thing because, like I said, you can't do much depth of cut on it. Make a nice knob for my indexable carry block.
All right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit now and finish her up at a higher speed and slower cut. Get a better finish than it is right now. Here we go. Spin that up and give it a little bit of this stuff, the 220. some red scotch right right now there we go a little different right now I'll try some gray on here I go through some different sizes I like doing a lot of polishing because it makes your end product look really nice. Like you took some time and some uh, effort to do it really good. Alright, let's check that out and see how it looks. I think I'll call that good. That's going to be the knob now. I'll uh, put that on later, have that ready, and then the next video will be making the clamping shoe that'll clamp to the front way to lock the carriage in place. I'll get you on the next one.